So today's video will be interesting because here's me, here's my comfort zone. And Julia just picked me up and like, throw me over there. Hello everyone, I'm here today again to share with you guys a video where my four-year-old is going to pick out my makeup. Now she has done a video like this before and you guys seem to really like it, so when she asked if she could pick up my makeup today, I thought, well, this is a good opportunity. Now she did not want to be in the video, she didn't want to apply the makeup, she just wanted to pick it out and make me do it. So Chris sat down with her and they went through my drawers, actually they started in my drawers and then that was like really overwhelming, so Chris kind of just grabbed some products in each of the categories and laid them out for her to kind of pick and choose. Oh, I should probably explain the balloons behind me. My sister-in-law got married and we had pink balloons there. That was a really, really easy explanation. And I thought I would leave them up because Julia's favorite color is pink. So I have all of my notes here. I have some specific things that Julia wanted to tell me about the products and why she picked them. And um, yeah, we're just gonna dive right into this. I hope you guys enjoy it. Give it a big thumbs up if you do. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the little notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Thursday and Sunday. And without further ado, let's get into this. So I'm gonna start today with my brows and she picked out the Benefit Precisely My Brows brow pencil and her reasoning was that it looked like a princess wand and like fair enough it kind of does this is in the shade 4.5 so I'm just going to just gonna, just gonna do my brows so for the eyeshadow today um, Chris had laid out three different palettes as to not overwhelm her and she could pick one of the palettes based on which one had the most number of different colors that she wanted me to wear so she chose the Fenty palette because you know <laughs> Girl's got good taste. And she started by picking this kind of a greeny gold shade. Then we went to pink. Naturally, I knew that was gonna happen. Then we went dark blue, bright blue, and then this like ready pink color. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with that. So, um, these are the colors that I am to work with today. I can do that. I can work with this. Okay, but what is she doing with eye? Like, what eyeliners am I choosing today? Because, like, last time I went in with the eyeshadows and I was like, yes, I got a look. And then she came at me with, like, a bright colored eyeliner. Oh, and we picked glitter. Okay. Um, and she wants me to put this under my brows. Under my brows. I don't even know where to go with that. Oh, she picked a green eyeliner. Oh, she picked two liners. One is the Wonder 2 Superstay liner in sort of a glittery, tealy green. And then the Stila Smudge uh, eyeliner, and this is in intense black. And where would she like me to put them? She would like both of them under the eyes. Under the eyes only. I'm gonna go and try and experiment with something on one eye, and then we're gonna come back on, and I'm gonna try and explain my thought process. So, <laughs> wish me luck. Okay, so I'm back, and I did one eye, and I feel like I got across what she had requested. So, this is the look that we came up with. Like, it's not done, I still have to like do mascara and like all that stuff, but like, it's a good starting point. So I started with this red shade right here, and I applied it just sort of in the outer corner of the eye. And I'm kind of putting it there to act as a warmer base for the darker color that we're gonna put on top. I'm also dragging the color in a bit, and I'm keeping my eyes open when I do so because I kind of want to see where the crease is going to go when I keep my eyes open because I have a little bit of a hooded lid. So if I just kind of go like this and I go where I think it will be, it'll disappear. Then I went in with this dark blue shade right here and I packed it on top. And I used a thinner brush with that same color and I went over the red kind of into the crease more. And take your time when you're doing this, don't rush it because then it'll take less work later when you're trying to blend it. Now I'm gonna grab this beautiful blue shade, which is absolutely stunning. I'm so glad that you picked it. I'm gonna put that right into the center of the lid. Like, look at that. <gasps> then after that, I just took a bit of a fluffy brush. I kind of mixed it actually, this and a pencil brush, and I used the red shade and this pinky gold shade, and I blended that along the crease to add a little bit more warmth. Now I'm gonna take this greeny gold shade, I'm gonna pack that into the inner corner and right into the tear duct. Then I just took the brush that I used for the blue shadow, and I just used that to kind of blend the edges here. Okay, now onto the glitter. So to kind of tie the glitter in from under the brows to the lids, I took a big flat brush like this and I just packed it into this very, very center of the lid on top of the blue just to bring out some of those purple tones. And now for the glitter under the brows. So basically what I did and the only way I could think to make it somewhat look cohesive is I took some of the glitter on a really tiny little brush and then I also packed in that 
kind of gold color as well. So you can see on this side, it definitely has some gold punch, but that sparkle is still there too. Cause I was thinking like, what do I do with glitter? Do I just take it, like just streak it under the eyes? Like, I don't know. And then lastly, the liner, the green one I thought is actually a lot more teal. So it actually picks up on the bluey color on the lid. So I put this on the waterline and then I'm gonna smoke out the black one underneath the eyes once I have everything else done. Now for mascara, she chose the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Purples, sparkles, everything purple and sparkly. Now in the video, which I didn't know until I watched it, Christopher, Chris gave her the option of having the mascara just on the lower lashes or just on the upper lashes or both. And she chose both. Thank goodness. So next we're gonna go into the rest of the face. We're gonna start with primer and she chose the Tatcha Silk Canvas because it was purple and had shiny, shiny sides. Girls got expensive tastes. Like has she chosen all high-end products so far? Oh, this is gonna be dangerous. I'm just gonna, oh, that was, whoa, that was way too much. So we're just gonna smooth this on. For foundation today, she chose the Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation because it has a smiley face with hearts. Classic. And she requested that I use the Artiz brush to blend it in because it looked furry. I can't make this up. In the sea, by the way, of all of my other, br like my full thing of brushes, and this one is the one that looks furry. That might be a little bit dark for me. I think I have a lighter shade. This is shade three. I'm gonna try two. Okay, the two of them mixed in together is a little bit better of a shade. And then for concealer, that was dramatic. I wasn't doing anything. It was just, just concealer. Fine, just drop down. So anyway, concealer. She chose two different concealers. One is the Maybelline Master Camo, and this is in the color pink, of course. And then on top, she wanted me to put on the one with the crown, which turns out to be the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. The crown? Oh, okay, that kind of, okay, that does kind of look like a crown. That's awesome. Wouldn't have even seen that. Okay, so I'm gonna put a bit of this on. I actually really like this one for under the eyes. You probably saw it. It was on the top of the pile of concealers I've been using recently. And I'll put it right here. And it just brightens up the area without adding too much like color correcting, if that makes sense. It'll brighten it. It'll cancel out some of those blue tones, but it's not so orange that it's noticeable underneath my concealer. And I'm applying it up into the eye area and I know I'm kind of messing up some of that gold, but I want that area to be a little bit brighter than it is right now. And then for powder today, she chose the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance, probably because it was the only purple one in my drawer. And then for bronzer today, Julia decided that I wasn't going to use a powder bronzer. No, no, I was gonna use a cream bronzer and a powder one. So she requested the Physician's Formula Insta Ready, the kind of striped one, because it had rainbow and silver squares on it. Everyone, just in case you're wondering. And then the Too Faced Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer, because obviously it's a heart. It's, a, it's fancy packaging. And this one's layered in like stripes, so you create like a contour effect and it's easier to blend out, is the sole whole like premise behind this. So I'm gonna put the darkest part where I want the contour to be, go a little bit there and then streak it. It's actually blending out really well on top of the powder, I'm impressed. And then we're just gonna dust a little bit of this on top. And I'm also just now going through all of your DMs on uh, Instagram, because you, I had asked you guys, who do you think was doing my makeup for today? A lot of you guys had guessed it was Luke. And like, I asked Luke, and Luke just takes my makeup and he wants to throw it in the air. There's no real interest in like taking a product and like having it applied to my face. Like he just doesn't care. I will try and get Chris to pick up my makeup again. If you missed that video, I put that up, I think in the springtime. Yeah, no, he trolled me. And now before I go into blush, I'm just going to finish up the under eye area because it always drives me a bit. I feel like it's half done when I don't have anything on underneath. And I think I'm gonna try and replicate a little bit of this gradient effect here. So I'm gonna do a bit of the red and a bit of the dark blue on top. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the black liner and just kind of smoke that into the lashes of it. And now we are going on to blush and she chose this one by Hourglass. This is in Incandescent Electra because it looks like pink clouds. All right, that makes sense. Now we're just going to apply this one to the cheeks. This is actually one of my favorite blushes. I love the Hourglass blushes. They're so pretty. And highlight, we're going with the Physician's Formula Butter Highlight because she liked the look of the palm trees on the front. Mmm, I love this, I love this. And in case anyone is wondering, this is in the shade Pearl. I'm gonna get it right into the very, very inner part of the eye, just to kind of tie everything together. For lips today, Julia requested a bright pink lip, because of course she did. The one she wants me to use is by Pop Beauty. This is their permanent pout in power pink. Wow, that's a lot of peas. 
whoa, they were not kidding around with this shade. Like it is like really pink. And then last but not least for a setting spray, she chose the one by Too Faced, the festival refresh one because rainbows and unicorns. I mean, who could blame her? So I'm just gonna shake this up and spray myself with some glitter. Oh, that smells nice actually. Okay, what do you guys think of this? Do you think that I got across like all of her requests? I feel like I incorporated everything and this is like, such a, like, I would never have thought of this look, which is kind of cool. I think it was the same thing last time. Like she chose a, like a burnt orangey yellow color. And I was like, what am I gonna do with this? It forces me out of my comfort zone. And sometimes that's a good thing to experiment and be a little bit more creative. I'm kind of liking it. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of her choices and how I interpreted it on my face. But this time she complimented me on my lip color. She said that looked really good and she liked the blue on my eyes. So, you know progress. So give Julie a big thumbs up for picking up the product for today's video. Don't forget to check out some new videos over here that you may have missed and also subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Thursday and Sunday. And that's everything. I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful week and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.